Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Today we got the second batch of Return to Noxramas miniset reveals. Four classes got cards revealed today and this miniset is looking pretty spicy. Although overall today's batch was a bit more divided than yesterday's batch. A couple of really good looking classes and a couple of classes that I'm not so certain about. Anyway, Paladin is getting one of the better sets here. Paladin cards, Knight of the Dead, a tricky mana, 5-500, five, five okay, that's a pretty big one. Valkyrie deal 5 damage to your hero, mana thirst 7, restore 5 health to your hero instead. I, I love this card, this is a wonderful card. You can play this in an acro deck, you play it for 3 mana, it's a big body, you are going aggressive, you're taking some damage but you don't care. Or you can play this more defensively, also in the same acro deck even. If the acro mirror, for example, goes a little bit longer, then you might Knight of the Dead and heal yourself up. Then there's Goldwing, a 4 mana 3 5 mech dragon, with rush and battle cry if you're holding a mech, gain wind fury. And okay, so first of course I thought about this as a dragon, hey, it's a dragon, but then I started to think about it as mech. What if we bring Mech Paladin back? Because the Battle Cry effect requires you to hold a Mech. Mech Paladin has a bunch of Mechs in it. Then it will gain Wind Fury. And Mech Paladin doesn't have a lot of four drops. So this could actually fit really nicely into Mech Paladin. Like we could bring Sunken City style Mech Paladin back with this card potentially. And then Paladin got a legendary card, the Purator. A 5 mana 4 6 taunt with battle cry. If your deck has no neutral cards, draw a minion of each minion type. So this can draw your Light Rays, this can draw your Knight of the Dead, your Sinful Zeus Chef. There's a few Paladin minions with minion types that this can draw. It can draw a mech too, so it could draw like a Leviathan. This can be used in defensive decks, this could be used in aggressive decks. Two different types of pure Paladin could use this. Obviously, like, is this better than ordering the court? Maybe not. Can this be played alongside it? I mean, you don't always draw it, so perhaps, perhaps. Also notable, it doesn't have a minion type itself. The curator is a mech, and the developers clarified this a little bit on Twitter, saying that the curator being mech was actually a mistake, and these sort of our game guardians typically are not mechs in Hearthstone. Which is kind of weird, because the curator in World of Warcraft is definitely a mechanical creature. So, yeah. I, I don't know, maybe they come up with these rules as they go. But the Hearthstone general rule seems to be that these kinds of minions should not be mechs. Be that as it may, Paladin is getting three interesting cards. Knight of the Deck looks really promising. Curator looks super promising. Goldwing a little bit more of a meme card maybe, but potential. It has some potential in specific decks, but the deck where Goldwing goes into doesn't look immediately as strong as the others. But after that phenomenal Paladin release, we got the Warrior cards. And these are a little bit a little bit more strange. There's Training Session, 1 mana, Discover a Taunt Minion. If you play it this turn, repeat this. The thing is that Taunt Minion pool is... There's a lot of pretty bad neutral Taunt Minions. Warrior has some good Taunt Minions of its own, but there's no, there's no class-specific card bonus anymore in Discoveries, so you're not guaranteed to find any Warrior cards. And I just I just don't believe in that one very much. The taunt pool is just not that great. Then there's Hookfist 3000. 3 mana 4, 3 mech pirate. After a hero attacks, gain 4 armor and draw a card. Alright, that's pretty sweet synergy, but Warrior doesn't have a 2 cost weapon. Actually, Warrior only has one weapon in standard format at the moment that is below 3 cost, and that is the 1 mana weapon that has been used in Pirate Warrior. Well, could you play this in Pirate Warrior? Maybe you could, maybe you could. It's not that great in standard, and gaining armor and drawing a card doesn't necessarily solve the problems it has in standard either. But you could try that. And then this Flesh Shaper. Six mana, taunt, battle cry. If you have five or more armor, summon a copy of this 3 8 undead. Alright, so you play the last stand on her turn 7 and you draw this with double the stats and then you slam it down and if you happen to have 5 armor you get 2 big taunt minions. That's the, that's the ideal scenario. On the other hand, the types of decks that you would want to play this in, do they? where do they get the 5 armor from? Where? I mean, if you just play a Contra Warrior, yeah, maybe you put this in Contra Warrior, but what does it do in Contra Warrior really? 
I mean, this whole Taunt Warrior idea, it's getting some support now, and I'll probably try to figure out if there's any way to build a Taunt Warrior deck now. But typically, Taunt Warrior decks are pretty bad, because Taunt Minions are pretty bad. In general, the minions just sacrifice too much in order to get that taunt. They're typically low attack, high health, look at Flash Shaper. And that just means that they just don't end games and then people shoot you in the face with spells. And those taunt minions just sit there doing nothing. So yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced about the warrior set. I can see some potential in these cards, but I think there's a lot of question marks about them and I just I just don't believe in them. And then there is the mage set, and the mage set is just kind of weird. We have Spectral Trainee, 3 mana, 1 for Undead, after you cast a spell, deal 1 damage to all enemy minions. AoE, all enemy minions. That's actually pretty interesting, that's probably the strongest of these mage cards. If you have a mage deck that uses a lot of spells, and you use this, then it clears the boards, okay, it doesn't deal face damage itself, but maybe it helps the deck otherwise. There's some potential in it. But then there's like Whirlweaver, 3 mana 4, 3 elemental naga, battle cry if you cast a spell last turn, discover an elemental. It's funny how these double tribes now, they are also mixing the mechanics. If you cast spell last turn, it's a naga mechanic, then discover an elemental. Do you see the theme here? Be that as it may, the elemental pool is pretty bad. So why, why do you want to discover an elemental? There is no reason to discover an elemental, so... I don't think there's any use for that card. And then there is the reality. Four mana, add two random mage spells from the past to your hand. They cost two less. You can get puzzle boxes, you can get ice blocks. You can also get one of dozens of other spells, some of which are totally useless. So yeah, that that's a meme right there. So the mage set, as you can see, is kind of weird. And then we finally get to the last cards that were revealed today, the Demon Hunter cards, starting with the return of Zombie Chow. Shambling Chow, 1 mana, 2, 3, Undead with Rush, and Death Rattle deal 4 damage to your hero. I like that. I mean, 2, 3 stats on a 1 mana minion with Rush, so you can use this to gain board control early. This, this is going to aggro deck. I like it. Then Calamity's Grasp. 1 mana 1 2 weapon death rattle add a random outcast card to your hand. Again, this outcasting, and I'm just not convinced that the outcast pool is strong enough. I just don't believe in it. So, yeah, that, that's kind of an issue. And an interesting card, although I don't think this is particularly strong Felscale Evoker. 6 mana 5 7 demon naga. Battlecry, if you've cast 3 spells while holding this, summon a different demon from your deck. So you could put this into Big Demon Hunter, and then at 6 mana you play this, and assuming that you've been able to hold it, which is a... It, it's something. It's it's not easy to have been able to do that while casting 3 spells. But if you have been able to do that, you have held it, you summon something from your deck, is that enough to win the game? Maybe. Typically Big Demon Hunter wins with the Resurrection spell that resurrects 3 demons that have died, this is not a demon that you want to resurrect. It's a 5-7 with no taunt, no rush, no nothing. Whereas most of the other demons that you have in your deck, they have taunt, they have rush, they have taunt and rush. <laughs> so the other demons are just great resurrect targets, and this one is not. But maybe the... I mean, Big Demon Hunter does have problems surviving right now. So maybe the tempo afforded by this is worth diluting your Resurrect pool for Big Demon Hunter, and perhaps that actually can bring Big Demon Hunter up with here. So it's totally possible. So overall, today's cards, we got cards for four classes. Paladin set looks brilliant. Warrior set looks sus. Then Mage set looks really weird. And then there's this Demon Hunter set, which is somewhere in between. But this has some potential. I think Acro Demon Hunter especially is going to get something, and I do like playing with Big Demon Hunter, even though I don't think it's a top tier deck. So, overall, the mini set is shaping up quite nicely. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.